Hey, uh, something that's come up a lot in my life recently is the idea of people getting credit for things that they do. And it seems like more and more in our wonderful, beautiful internet age where things can be shared quicker than ever, sometimes we forget to credit people for the things that they did or created or thought of. In the last year, I've started using this website called Tumblr. Tumblr, I'll, uh, I'll link it below. You probably haven't heard of it. It's kind of a new thing. I'm right on the cutting edge. What I'm, not, it, I'm actually super behind on it. Okay, so I've been using Tumblr to frankly reblog mostly pictures of uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and other Joss Whedon things and sometimes animated versions of Star Trek, but that's not... Okay, I've been using Tumblr a lot. It's made me think about what a strange format for a website it is because you're essentially sharing someone else's work and with one click, with one deletion of attribution, you are completely taking that artist's work and making it seem like your own. It is important to credit people for their work and not just take it, because otherwise I could just say things and pretend that I thought of them and not attribute the quote to the person who, you know, actually said it, like that or that. And how cool would it be if I had thought of those things? But you know what? I didn't, and it's okay. But when you find out that something someone has pretended to have come up with themselves, pretended to come up with something when they just stole it outright from someone else, doesn't it make you think less of that person? Or at least, like, question the veracity of every statement they've ever said? Where those statements and ideas came from? An interesting example of this that I encountered this morning was that apparently uh, Tyler Oakley, who is awesome and I love, uh, found a funny quote on Tumblr, waited a couple months, and then tweeted it with no attribution to anything basically saying it as if it were his own joke. You know, it's fine, it's just a joke, right? What does it matter? It's not like I ever had a joke stolen from me by, like, say, Alec Baldwin and had it retweeted a lot with no credit. Anyway. And in this case, I don't think that Tyler really did anything that terrible. It's just a joke, but when people are consistently tweeting and putting things out as if they came up with them, whether those are people thinking of witty jokes or taking great photographs or making amazing art or music that actively hurts the person who took the time to create that thing and is now having that work taken from them. What eventually happens is that the people who are consuming the art or ideas or what have you begin to think that the person who exposed them to it was the one who created it and then that person, knowingly or unknowingly, gets credit in this consumer's mind for having been far more clever or intelligent or you know, creative, than they actually are. And that is a conscious decision. And that is lying to people, whether that's your friends or a larger audience. And I, it just, I don't know, it rubs me the wrong way. And at some point it's just the same as taking someone's song and putting your name on it and pretending that you wrote it. Which I think we can all agree is pretty not okay. I don't know, I'm just ranting here because it's something that seems to be coming up in every aspect of my life. But let me know in the comments what you guys think, if it bothers you when people don't attribute work to its proper creator, or if you don't even care about it at this point. It's more about the content itself than the person who created it. Which I guess, there's a valid argument to be made there. Make it in the comments. I'd like to remind you that I'm going on a fall tour with Tessa Violet, Mike Falzone, Megan Tongis, Jason Monday, and uh, hopefully you uh, come out to a show. Uh, the dates are below. I hope that you're having a swell day. And until I see you next, be brilliant. Don't take other people's work.